sorry for my big nasty pimple on my face. Um, anyway, I am on my way to the barn and I plan on riding Lindy today and then I have to organize um, my horse trailer and stuff um, because I am moving her on Friday. I will explain later, but um, until then, I will see you at the barn. Hi, Lindy Lou. I love you, pretty girl. Stop for a snack. Like she hasn't eaten in days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's trying to eat everything and say hi to all the horses. <laughs> Lindy, don't walk ahead of me. And take a munch out of the hay bale. <laughs> No. Oh. Oh.
was a good egg. Good girl. Wendy has this funky stuff on her mane, and I'm not really totally sure what it is, so it's only in this one section. I don't know if it's allergies, but just to be careful, I've been spraying this stuff on it. Um, so, hopefully that can kind of get rid of anything that's in there. I'm trying to look at it and do it at the same time. It's like, this probably isn't doing anything, but it's worth a shot. It worked when my couple of my last horses had ringworm. So many saddle pads. <laughs> Forget how much shit you have that <laughs> you collect over the years. This is my uh, completed version. Everything's hung up. All my saddle pads are way back there in the corner. You can't really see them. And then my saddle's on the stand. And then in front here, I have to put my feed, my big feed bun, bin, so. y'all. <laughs> it was hard work cleaning out that trailer. <laughs> I'm about to say goodbye to Lindy. I love you, pretty girl. I see you in three days. And I come to put you in my trailer. Okay? <laughs> she looks so happy. This is my snack for on the way home. Looks yummy. I'm on my way home and I just wanted to explain to everybody why I'm moving Lindy. Um, that's why I got my trailer and everything ready today uh, was so that whenever we go, <coughs> whenever we go to pick her up on Friday, um, I can just throw her in and I have all my tack already in there and ready to go. Um, as you know, I love the barn that she's at now, and I am nervous to leave again because it didn't work out the last time, um, but this barn just opened up. It's a brand new boarding facility that just opened up literally a mile and a half from my house. Um, it takes me about five, six minutes to get there. I currently am driving an hour, so obviously that's a huge difference. Um, <clears throat> it's an absolutely beautiful facility. They've really put a lot of time into it, and um, they don't have an indoor yet. They are in the process of building their outdoor just because it is so brand new. Um, so I'm taking her this Friday, which is the 15th of September, and I believe I'm going to be the first boarder there. The rest of the people are coming um, like the end of the month, beginning of October. So. Yeah, I just, uh, 
I feel that it's the better choice right now just because then hopefully I'll be able to see her more often. Um, right now, because she is an hour away, I only do get to go like once a week. Um, she literally is, you know, like I said, right down the hill from my house. She's like a mile and a half. So I'm just really hoping um, that I can see her more often. And I would like to start trailering her out for lessons. And there's actually, um, like I'd like to do either just regular dressage with her for fun um, or western dressage. And there is a barn and an instructor about 20 minutes away from this, you know, from my house, from this barn that I hopefully will be able to go to. Um, so that I'm hoping can work out. Wish me luck that it works out because I really don't want to have to move her again. I feel like I've kind of been doing that a lot lately, obviously. Um, in the course of my channel's existence, I've moved her four times, I think, five times. Yeah, something like that. And it just, there's always a reason. It's not just me being stupid. So anyway, I just hope that this barn works out just for the fact that she will be so close and, um, you know, that I can trailer to lessons. I'm planning 